If you haven't been here for any Zeldaing, I mean, I'm at the final area naked, and this is just what we're doing today. It's very raw. I had no intention of doing any of this. I started the game just planning on messing around with the sticky hand, maybe trying to find some skips if I wanted to run the game, but overall just play normally. No! <laughs> Stand up like, shit! <laughs> then, when I barely found any armor, I decided, yeah, alright, this doesn't seem too hard. I'll just stay tastefully nude. This better have something worth it. It better not be, like, a rock. It's gonna be clothes? I might wear it. It's clothes. I mean, I've gone this far naked, I might as well stay naked. Then I activated the first tower and decided I might as well see if I could get into Hyrule Castle. All right, north chat to Kilton and maybe that box. Alternatively, the castle. Then I found some nice weapons and figured I might as well see if you could immediately access the game's final boss like you can in Breath of the Wild. Then I decided I'll try to beat the game with base stats, being tastefully nude and having minimal supplies. Now I stand on the precipice of the final boss fight, and in order to win, I have to do it entirely without getting hit once. Because turns out base stats, no armor, doesn't give you much leeway here. That's how I suddenly found myself committing to beating the honestly unreal final waves and bosses of Tears of the Kingdom completely no hit. Massive endgame spoilers ahead. I will not warn you again. Right now, if I'm to win, I have to beat five waves of enemies, six bosses, and the final boss in a row, no breaks, and without taking a single hit throughout it all, with only the supplies I found randomly getting here. We'll start the story a little before this, though, because it'll help paint a better picture of the situation. I am naked and have four hearts, yes. I mean, I feel like I'm ready to take whatever the fuck the game throws at me. Holy shit. Ah! I think I know where the boss is, chat. What the fuck is this? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Whoa. All right. All right, I see. Uh, where to now? Up? Oh! Oh, I survived! <laughs> I almost just feel like not healing. Uh, yeah, I don't think I made it. Some s <laughs> naked in the Hyrule hole. Yeah, there we go. We're back. Naked in the Hyrule hole. Yeah, we're gonna need a game plan, chat. <laughs> Dude, these guys are accurate. Oh, that was some range. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that throw. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. That throw happened a bit sooner than I thought it would. Oh, the hasty drink. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a good idea. Easy clap. It's too bad I have no health and I can't heal. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, I wonder if I have to kill that lion. <laughs> yeah, I could use the ice rod, yeah. So how does this work? Oh, that's pretty simple, okay. <laughs> Well, not what I meant, but let's see if it works. Dude! <laughs> and the other guys throwing rocks are too slow. Hello, I'm very curious about your abilities. <laughs> cool ability, man. I don't quite know where... Well, I guess I gotta go there. But how does one get there? Yeah, there is a cave there, isn't there? Yeah. I have no idea how long I can go without, or I can't go without healing it. Okay. 
Ah, I see. Okay. I know what to do here. <laughs> that's that's what you do there, obviously. Sheesh, dude. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Like a couple arrows on top. Oh, no, not the greatest timing ever. Ah, oh, and it was the key stick up in the end. Like arrows just drop? Oh, they were the line. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Go! Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Holy dicks and balls, dude. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, in here, maybe? You know what? <laughs> maybe not in here. <laughs> it's all yeah, do I do I do I get the leave? Do I get the leave? Okay, that's good. Thank you. I thought this was the beginning of the final boss. I mean, it's a boss arena, and this thing looks like it would be a big boss's first phase. Not knowing better, I committed all of my available resources to it because I thought that it would be the end. So, where do I go from here? Unless this is the start of the real Nebula. <laughs> Which is possible. <laughs> Can't get me. Well, I think we found a cheese spot for these guys, which is nice. I do only have seven arrows. Oop, that was a mistake. Looks like mashing works though. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> This is the real meal deal. All right, Busta, let's dance. Good dance, good dance, good dance. <laughs> now get it. So he teleports. Hey, Phantom Ganon, <laughs> you wanna come into here? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, he he does one hit me. <laughs> I need the power of the squeaky hammer. Not today. Today we do it super legit. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Release! <laughs> yeah, asshole! No, he got me in the cheese spot. Like, can I just get a height advantage to the point where I can hit him and he can't hit me? Yeah, like right here, right on this cliff. Uh oh. One more hydration oh, reminder. Oh, 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 what? Shit! <laughs> Where the fuck do I go? Oh, what do you mean, dude? It might be that I have to shoot him when he starts doing that. Yeah. I imagine the hike thing works both ways. So I was wrong about that. Oh shit, he started with that attack. Yeah. Okay, that's how you stop it. Finally! We should focus on getting the jump attacks, because they are obviously... much easier to flurry rush. We're getting somewhere, chat. You can just stand in the perfect spot that forces him to do this. Oh my god, this guy's free. <laughs> Yo, we got the gloom spear! Yeah, get fucked. God, you suck. So what is next, video game? Is it possible that we didn't have to fight that guy? <laughs> that was optional? Well, shit, I got a... Well, this is 40 damage, but I had a 37. I think I should probably reload then. Yeah, no, fuck it, let's keep it, let's keep it. Cause it can drop this guy, and now I have a 55 damage monstrosity. So that's pretty cool. 
Central Hyrule Depths. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I must be insanely deep. What the fuck, dude? I don't have... <laughs> I don't have, like, a hammer. How am I supposed to break through this wall without a hammer? <laughs> Use my forehead. Yeah. There's a rock on the wall? Oh my god, there is. I knew the game would screw me over completely. Fantastic. Oh, we've been here. This is where we started the fucking game. Yes, yeah, six hours ago when I started the game. And I'm now going to potentially finish it. Imprisoning chamber. All right, I think this is it. Let's go, chat. This can only end well. Naked Link versus the enemy. Now we're back. This is the end of the game, but for me, it's really just the beginning because I'm about to spend countless hours trying to pull off the god run. We have arrived. We have come. Oh, sweet Jesus. You're shitting me. What? That's... Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Hey, well, here's the thing, chat. Uh, we were worried about weapons? <laughs> and arrows? This is actually, like... Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was bad terrain. Well, I didn't expect to be at the final boss today. I thought I was just gonna kind of go dick around on Zelda, but here we are. <laughs> Spears are so nice because they're short swing animation. Oh, I'm dead. Uh <laughs> yeah, if I had a spear, I wouldn't have died there. Yeah. This is gonna be, this is gonna be rough. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Shit. Okay, we have a decent system now. This is good. Oh, I can freeze the big one. Shit. So we open with the ice, obviously. It is fucking cracked. What? He hit through that. That's the system, chat. Use a flamethrower shield on the frozen guys? Holy shit, you guys are... You guys are fucking thinking. It was less AoE than I hoped it would be. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have stopped, but that was good. Yeah. yeah. The shield was not... Like, you know, I had a vision of the shield just... But... No, not really. <laughs> Are there any better gems? I don't think there is a better gem. That is, like... I don't think it gets better than stopping, like, ten dudes in their tracks. And then go for the archers. And then just shoot everybody. Dude. Holy dicks. Just the big guy, chat. Holy shit, okay, we gotta collect stuff. Second wave? You're right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's go. Cool. That, that staff, I keep getting worried it's gonna break. That staff is my lifeline. Nice. Oh, no. So that is the end of it. So the water spouts. We gotta do this now. Oh no! Okay. Holy shit, there's a third! <laughs> know what these do i haven't even encountered these before all right well let's fly i guess damn Whew. you know what the first one's the hardest i think 
That wave three run was the best I did for the rest of the day. Getting recommended the ice staff gave me just enough hope that maybe I could push just a bit beyond. I mean, after three waves of hard enemies, how much more could there possibly be before I beat the game? Nintendo wouldn't make it that hard, would they? Day two started unbearably awful. I couldn't even beat the first wave, never mind make any progress. I tried making foods that would make me resistant to the no healing damage that enemies did, but I wasn't left with enough ingredients to even do it, since ingredients that add effects cancel each other out. This meant that everything would one-shot me without a chance of healing, with the exception of the wimpy Bokoblin hits, which would allow me to survive one hit. That is until I started using the Gloom Spear, since I realized that saving weapons for later wouldn't work if there was no later. The downside of the Gloom Spear is that it damages its user, down to one heart. That's when I decided I might as well make this official. I was gonna beat this whole enemy gauntlet, however long it went, without taking a single hit. How many waves could there really be? All right, chat. It's that time of day. It's time to build weapons. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I really want to combine with whatever he drops. Oh, chat. <laughs> we need to attach this to something. Well, I have to worry about getting licked. I have to worry about getting licked. Now we got some feckin' weapons, chat. Okay, we're gonna switch to the ice and we're just gonna spam the shit out of it. These are flying dudes. <laughs> What is all this? 40 fuse attack power? Holy dicks. What's the last wave? Do they have bows? Do any of you have bows? We're gonna whip out a big one for this. Good. This looks like the king. <laughs> we gotta bring out the biggest shit for this. Yeah, he's the biggest. Okay, another one down. Holy shit, chat. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're in. <laughs> we beat Ganon's army. Now for the actual boss fight. Or whatever the fuck this is. I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. This isn't, this isn't the final boss. <laughs> this isn't even the, this isn't even the final boss. I don't even know what I'm looking at. What do I do? I have one HP. This is awful. Finally, a breakthrough. I made it to the first boss. Colgate, the flying centipede. Too bad I had no idea what it did, and I only have one heart to learn as much as I could to beat it, because for every attempt I'd need to take to kill it, I'd still have to go through all of the other waves first. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> that, I guess. Gotcha. Oh shit. Okay, well, I got my stamina back. I'm gonna regret saying this, but I'm not very threatened. God damn it. I am bad at shit. No! What a terrible way to go out! <laughs> a death, but a learning experience. We decided that for extra challenge and fun, I wouldn't get any spoilers or walkthroughs on what each boss did. Instead, having to use my life preciously to figure out what it did and how to kill it on single attempts that would take oh so long to get to. That also meant that every time I got further, it would take longer to get back to learn something, usually through death. Beat Colgara? Isn't that a toothpaste brand? Is it Colgate, the toothpaste friend? Let's take out ya boy. <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> Off the head, bud. Shit. God. Okay. Now the dude. <laughs> we're back. Operation, don't die to fall damage. <laughs> if I die to the boss's attack, that's okay because... 
then we'll learn what it does. I, I don't know what the boss does yet. But here's another problem. Lack of arrows. I think I have seven. How do you... Oh, here's an arrow. How do you deal with that situation? Okay, up we go. We are, we are real fucking close to this thing. Oh my god, can I throw weapons at it? No shot. <laughs> well, chat, let's go fucking whack him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's not hitting upwards. Oh, that's a dive! Okay, if I press throw in the air, it dives. We can't throw in the air. And attacking does a down thrust. How high does this go? Okay, well, that was pretty cool. So, picking up arity arrows is a priority. And not missing them <laughs> is a priority. That's crazy, man. Did you see him, like, backstep? That was nuts. Round three, Rocky Caterpillar, dude. It's Colgate. The return of everybody's favorite toothpaste. What makes things fly further, chat? Probably the wing. Bro. Don't you dare not to fall damage in the cutscene. Alright, so this is the boss. Oh, okay. We're, we're in a... What am I doing? <laughs> You're shitting me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't fly into the tornado. Yeah, I, I worked that part out. Yeah. Get me out. Get me the fuck out. Okay. Okay. There's many tornadoes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, now. Hey. Hey, whoa, 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 guys. Let's... What the fuck? That's so dumb. <laughs> Stay and glide. I guess I can't touch the ground. Yeah. God. All right, chat, we have to practice here. We have to not touch the ground. A lot of BX presses. <laughs> it's so awkward, chat. Okay. I think I get it, actually. I think I get it. I'm gonna use the washroom and then I'm gonna explain what I think might have just gone on there. I think there's like higher up tornadoes and lower tornadoes. And as they come at you, you have to go under them and above them. Also, at this time, I think it's time to add an on-screen death counter. Splink? <laughs> Dude, that's a great idea. Splink 70. Well, on the bright side, this feels easier and easier. Okay, chat, here's the sitting theory. Gotta go under these? Oh, shit. What? My bow. I didn't have a fucking bow equipped. Okay, my theory was not confirmed. I just somehow pulled that off. Anyway, I really have no idea, chat. <laughs> Let's try the eyeball, see what happens. Yep, eyeball works. That's what I'm talking about, chat. I actually- I still don't know how I avoided those tornit- <laughs> Let's go, boss number two, baby! I love how little break there is between these. Whoop! Okay, noted. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Yeah. I love doing fucking two damage. How do you suppose I hit him besides arrows? Rewind? Oh! Oh, you are the biggest, brainest, brainest motherfucking 
Damn. Damn. Okay. I still didn't do much damage, though. <laughs> like, you don't suppose I could climb him? Oh, ascend! Oh my god. I, I've been so long without using these powers. Ah, well, it would have worked. See, there we go. We one cycle both, and now we're back at the rock, like next attempt. I just don't know what to do against the rock. I know I have to go up its ass and turn back its bombs. But beyond that, I, uh, I I'm not sure, really. So here he goes down. Like, too low for me to go up him, I, I believe. Okay, we can, we can go up after the bomb. The hell is that? Alright. This just... I... I, I mean... <laughs> no, get off! Yeah, okay. Love this mini game. <laughs> There's also the worry of what happens once he reaches half health. There's always a phase two. Okay, now put Link somewhere safe, please. Okay, generic angry boss. Oh, he's gonna walk more. Five bombs. Where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> uh... To be real, Shad, I'm, I'm not really sure what the fuck. <laughs> Thank God you swam. This is gonna suck without a lot of stamina. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. I just did like half a damage. <laughs> Okay, we've seen three attacks now. Don't have a bomb arrow. You think I got a bomb arrow? <laughs> I wish I had a bomb arrow. Well, that's nutty. All right, we did not learn as much as I would have liked to learn. Third boss. I, I really started to wonder how many of these things there were. I had committed to do this and would absolutely hate to go back for more resources, but like, what if there was a boss that required bomb arrows or just lots of arrows? Or what if I ran out of weapons? Getting back to the shark would mean one hell of a long road every time, but I was really starting to develop a clean system for the waves and the first two bosses, which are honestly pushovers. I was figuring out the best ways to combine my weapons to maximize DPS. All I needed now was many, many more attempts, and to hope I'd reach the end of the road eventually. We've gone for an hour and he's still doing this? Chat, if something takes longer than an hour, is it even worth doing? No, I think if it takes longer than an hour, you should abandon immediately. Dude, I am becoming the absolute Colgate destroyer. 
I don't even think I... Did I use anything for my arrows there? Holy crap. Can I change the music? No, because I need the game sound. And in classic Nintendo fashion, you can't turn off music on its own. Because, fuck you. This is like... Like, is this... is is? Am I doing this intended, you know? Yo, I don't think I could have fit under that one. If that ever doesn't work, we are... We're really boned. It's fun, I mean... Games, like, very rarely make you crawl, even when crawling is in the game. So it's actually quite the fun mechanic. Oh, yeah, you are probably... Well, yeah. No, you're right. You're probably supposed to rewind <laughs> one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crawling works, too, I guess. Come in! Come in! Okay. It's shark time, chat. We just... We don't know how to hurt him. What is this? Oh, yeah, the ice staff. I I'm fairly certain it doesn't work on bosses. But... You don't give a fuck! <laughs> Just stay alive and watch it. I think we've seen all of its attacks now, chat. Which is actually kind of encouraging. Because I'm comfortable dodging them all. Okay, that's fast. Damn. Hey guys, what's up? Been a while. <laughs> Missed you guys. How's the family? Hey Colgate, how are things? How are the kids? That's so good. I'm so happy for you. What? 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 I broke it with my fucking noggin chat. <laughs> and other. Oh, what the f? <laughs> Why must you be slippery? Let's, uh, let's use the old player though. That's really sweet, chat. It did nothing. Like, it did something, but it also did nothing. We have Choo Choo Jelly. Like, did it go through him? Use any kind of water. Well, holy sh. Oh, 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 get the fuck back here! Get the fuck over here! Alright, chat! We've done it! Progress! <laughs> and thankfully, I do have the. That's the laser beam! Dude, that's so fast! Ah! Uh... <laughs> I see. You hit it with water and it cleans the goopy shark. I see. Okay. Everything. Again and again and again and again, chat. Everything. Anyone know what's after the shark? Don't tell me. It is absolutely insane going no hit into a boss rush of bosses you don't even know what they are. It is just so insane and I love it. Like, we worked so hard just to go and do some research before dying. Oh, I could change the staff to opal? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I might be able to do that. <laughs> okay, in that case... Okay, uh... I can't believe that water shot didn't hit him! <laughs> I assume there's, a, there's one boss after this and then the main boss. That's what I assume. Do I want to know how far I am? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't tell me what's coming, but tell me how far I am. There's <laughs> three bosses after the game. That's not bad. That's halfway through the bosses. It's not bad. Not including? So there's th three. <laughs> I went to the bathroom and I have come to the conclusion that we go again. This started as the rest of the stream. It, it is now the rest of the week. So every time the shark has happened, I have died to the laser beam. The laser beam is the deadly one.
So if I run out of water things, I will need to attach an opal to a spear and hit him with the spear. That's rough. I'm about to reach halfway here. So here, whatever it is, comes. Oh, God. Same boss, more bullshit. I'm in the gunk currently. <laughs> What the fuck is that? The new attack! Oh, it's just more bullshit, okay. What, what? What? No. No. <laughs> I can't believe it didn't. Turns out, those do damage. That's the end of day two. I'd gone from the third wave to the third boss after the waves. Not half bad. Oh god, we're back. Oh yeah, I have a fun little story. So somebody DM'd me and was like, hey, you might get me fired from my new job. Because apparently they were told that they could wear black shirts to work. Perfect, great opportunity to wear Spiff merch. And so they wear the like, they wear the property of Astral Spiff hoodie. And then like later on in the shift, they get like taken to the office for a talking to. And the boss is like, hey, I don't want you promoting substances at work. So obviously, our Spiff fan is is rightfully confused. I'm not promoting Spiff uh, substances. I'm promoting my favorite content creators, merch. And then the manager says, but you're wearing a Spliff hoodie, which I say all the time. People see Astral Spiff and they read Spliff. It happens all the time. And Spliff is like slang for weed, I think. But it gets worse, so our hero of the story convinces their manager that it's, you know, not a, not a weed. Then suddenly, their father gets upset because they're promoting weed. And it's like, why, why does everybody think I'm promoting weed? Where is this even coming from? Turns out, there's a weed shop, like, nearby called Spliff. <laughs> So it's not completely unfounded what these people are saying because, you know, they're seeing the local place and thinking that that's where the merch came from. <laughs> yeah, damn the coincidence is right. It is insanely unfortunate. Also, yesterday they, they DM'd me again and said that they have gotten fired now. I didn't ask. I really should have asked. I don't think it was because of, you know. Oh, shit! <laughs> I needed those. <laughs> Chat, I got loaf shaved for the summer because she was way too fuzz for the heat. She looks <laughs> hella funny. Oh, you are so in for it now, Colgate. Uh... <laughs> what even hit me? First human being to die to Colgate? I don't even know. Did I hit the wing? Okay, now don't hit his wings or from whatever happened last time. I kind of messed that up. It's got to be a butter, buzzer beater chat. Seven months woo. <laughs> chat, we're going to do this correctly. We'll do a combination of the old strat. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's so much better. It took me a second to get back into the swing of things. But as soon as I did, I immediately died to the shark without learning anything. And then, I did it again. I was so slow. I didn't even try, like, okay, so I went out of the pause and tried to go straight into the bow, but the game wasn't unpaused when I pressed the bow button, so nothing happened. So I had to release the button and press it again. That laser beam, I think we just try shielding it, cause like, what the fuck? Clearly something needed to be improved. <laughs> We have gotten pretty fast at getting to shark, yeah. We have the shield shield. In the case of the move, we're gonna shield it and observe. No! 
my god! <laughs> I've been doing that the whole fucking time. Chat, it does its attacks in order. All right, chat, PB territory. Now, the rain is the biggest danger. So if I'm right, you're gonna do your abilities in order. Yeah, starting with this, and next is the laser beam. Except now there's a fourth one in the cycle. Bingo. And now you're gonna do the charge, probably, unless you do the vomit now. That's charge. That's, let's just interrupt it. Okay, now... Oh, but there's vomit everywhere! So if I'm right, then this will be wave. Yeah. Looks like charge is out of the rotation, so it's only laser beam, mortar, and... you know. My controller! My right Joy-Con went to player two. I don't, I have no idea why, but this light went to the player two light. What the fuck, why? No, 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 okay. Okay, progress chat, let's go. Next up, a big ass butterfly. I really hope I don't need arrows. Queen Gibdo. Okay. Do I have to get you to charge into your things? I mean, we really just gotta experiment. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's weak to fire? Yeah, let's try that. I can't climb the pillars. Swing to the top? What do you mean swing? I keep forgetting about the powers. Nope, not ascend. Okay, what other power do I have? I can't really return the laser. Can I grab the... No. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even tried shooting at him. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely try that. I mean, let's just try like fire and stuff. <laughs> okay, whoa, chill. Oh, a charge. That, you know, makes me think that I'm supposed to make you hit your pillars. Okay, that's not it. And I hit the wing and nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> oh. Maybe light cause moth? Let's well, I kinda try. <laughs> I mean, I have a whole bunch of light fruits. We didn't even figure out how to fight it. An insanely successful first attempt. But hey, progress is progress. Has anybody seen the clips of people, like, making flaming dicks out of materials in this game? You have? Yeah, it's pretty funny. So, like, you can build stuff in this game, chat, right? Because you combine things. And so, you can get away with building a humanoid shape with a penis that, when lit, shoots out fire and stuff. Oh, I saw the Trojan horse, too! I love the Trojan horse! That was sweet! I saw the rotisserie Korok, yeah! <laughs> Shit, shit, shit. Oh. <laughs> Scary video game, man. Oh, crap. I'm dead. <laughs> I walked right into the sludge. Oh, oh, so close to the one first. Oh, dude. Come on, dude. You're half health. Get out of here. It was the, the laser, so I believe the next attack will be death from above. Not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it reset. It reset! <laughs> okay, so you can hit it when it's submerged. In that case, maybe I should get the opal on the spear and just like charge at it in these cases. Ah. 
It's just so feckin' fast. Ah! The flamethrower shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or flamethrower lance. True. Okay, so fire good. We've learned. Our assumption is that the pillars are only for phase two. So loaf, <laughs> loaf has been shaved. All right. <laughs> She's gonna look pretty silly. Just so you know. Her head's the same. <laughs> but her body is a little bit more chicken. <laughs> Love with no crust. It's hot outside, okay, chat? This is good for her. Chat, this is what toothpaste does to the germs on your teeth or whatever. Dude, I... <laughs> I landed on top of our tornado, chat. <laughs> on top of it. How many times have you tried this? How many times could I... Do you think I've tried this? If only there was a number that indicated how many times I've tried this. It is pretty cool to go through all the bosses. It's not cool to just, like, death feels so unsatisfying in this. It's never like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Uh, so crazy. It's just like, oh, <laughs> that gust of wind hit me. How unfortunate. No shot. Oh my God, it does work. What a time save! Dude! Dude! Oh my god! Huge improvements in the shark department. Oh my gosh, the opal lance! Death of the shark! the bane of my existence. Wait, have I made the opal spear? I haven't. Oh, the opal spear also shoots out orbs? So I don't even have to be that close to the shark. Good, I can keep my distance. Hells yes, chat. We've solved the shark. We are on to the next one. This is what I have you for. How far does this go? Okay, noted. <laughs> you dodge. So this puts it in a vulnerable state. But now the question is, how do I then kill it, do you suppose? When it's down, it does the tornadoes. Like, there's gotta be a better way than, th <laughs> than this, you know? I know I just hit her last time, but then I died, Pepsi. Yeah, this just doesn't do much damage, chat. I think we just have to get close. We have to dodge this. And then get in there. Oh, that's cool! Yo, halfway, chat! Fuck! Okay. Oh, dicks! <laughs> we made it to the G. Okay. Halfway. We get to see phase two. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay, so from what I can gather, it's going to be the same, but now there's enemies? You know, I should probably just freeze them, and they're probably going to respawn if I kill them. Surely there's a max. <laughs> oh. I see. Progress on the moth. <laughs> Bro did not give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The quicker we're able to win against bosses, the better our lives will be by like tenfold. That's why our discovery about the shark is so exciting. Like, besides the fact that it means I'm gonna kill the shark easier, it just means that it's gonna take less long. No! Got him! <laughs> okay! Um, I actually really gotta pee. <laughs> I know this is like... 
an intense moment. But, you know, <laughs> I'll be right back. It dodges! <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I need to destroy the pillars or something. I really don't know how. That's how we weaken those guys at least. Did it just shield itself? It did. What the shot? <laughs> oh, it. I wasn't charged. All right, that's how she goes. There are things I could have done differently there, for sure. Despite this being the fourth stream of this, it was only the third dedicated day to the no-hit grind, and I desperately wanted just a taste of the ending, even if I died instantly. I was becoming more and more nervous about just how far this would go, because how many times could I be expected to go beyond five enemy waves and four bosses perfectly? I had this crazy idea that I could beat the whole thing if only I streamed long enough. So I decided I would stream until I simply couldn't emotionally handle doing that first Bokoblin wave anymore. It's amazing people can make a 48 second trailer a 15 minute video. Dude, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. I, I, I was, you know, poking around the YouTube as I do. And I only saw Docos, but dude, Docos reaction video is 28 minutes. That's nuts. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it'll probably be like eight minutes so that it can be like monetized. That sounds about right. <laughs> and then, holy shit, <laughs> 28 minutes, baby. I mean, I'm sure he has a lot to say. So for this I've gotten is the moth. We're gonna beat that right now. <laughs> no, stay. No, dude, it, oh. We can just do that right off the bat. That is way faster. Can I run away from this beam? That was another thought I had. Cause it's pretty fucking, I can! Let's just try this. Oh, okay. The tower gave it roughly zero fucks. <laughs> it tower gave, and I just, really cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got an update chat. Uh, that one person in my DMs did not get fired because of my merch. They got fired for missing a shift on Mother's Day. So I didn't actually get somebody fired because of my merch. Only got them a stern talking to. But yeah, not showing up to a shift, especially like in your first week, that does get you fired. When I worked at the raw pet food store, might have to pause this story while I focus on the shark. There was this girl I knew from high school named Paige, not my Paige, a different Paige. She started there and it was the day that we had a bunch of puppies come in. So very exciting. You know, we get to take five minutes out of our day to hold some puppies. But anyway, it's her first day on the job when these puppies come in. And she posts like on her snap story, like I love my job with a picture of the puppies. Like sweet, you know, she likes her new job. Then she never showed up to another shift ever again. I have no idea why. I know I, I thought she liked it. <laughs> but yeah, at one point I was like, like, I haven't seen Paige in a while. Like, what happened to her? And my boss, who's was a really small company, and he was just like, oh yeah, yeah, she quit <laughs> like after her first shift. Imagine getting the job for a Snapchat story of a puppy. <laughs> and then quit. <laughs> for the clout, man. Yeah, but the thing is, she couldn't have known that they were gonna be puppies either. It was just a, a chance, unless she orchestrated it all. Fuck, I don't know. Sounds like the best job ever. It was super chill. I would have stayed at it a while longer, but I got fired. But my job was also way worse than hers. I would have much rather packed than cut. Also, shit, I should have... Okay, hold on. I gotta focus. Why did I get fired? I think it was because I was too slow. He said it was because they didn't need as many people anymore, but I, I think it was because I was too slow. But I was slow because I didn't want to cut off my feckin' finger on a bandsaw. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's not get embarrassingly crapped on, chat. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to hit this guy in all this bullshit? 
Where are they going? Bruh. <laughs> What's happened to the frozen guys? <laughs> Ooh, your tornadoes seem bigger than usual. I I don't know how the fuck I'm getting, supposed to get a window. And I and and what is going on? <laughs> oh, bro is shooting more tornadoes just straight up. No, 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 no. Oh, it's charging. Oh, it's gonna take three years to charge. Okay, understood. This is insane, chat. <laughs> How am I supposed to get hits in? Like, I am technically doing damage, but like, my feckin' entourage is making it a little bit challenging. This is also like, this is just, it just, this is insanely long. Oh, oh, is, is that a, no, that wasn't even a stun. No, the lunge tag. I don't have bombs, yeah. Bombs are the like number one thing. I mean, bombs are the strongest thing I think in the game. Okay, shit, I... Come on, no! <laughs> mm, there's more coming down. Shad, I think they infinitely spawn. Cause like, these guys charge too, which means I can't just constantly walk away from them and be fine. Oh. It's right above me. If I had bomb arrows, this would be so easy. Go get them then? Yeah, I think I should. The bug second phase was unbearably awful. At no point during the run had I felt like I hit a wall. Not with the waves or with the shark, because each death had taught me something. I had learned everything I needed to from the moth second phase. And what I learned was that I did not want to work 20 minutes just to dodge around 20 infinitely respawning enemies getting pot shots off on a moth only to die a few minutes in. I had been avoiding it, but bomb arrows really are the greatest power in the world. I was gonna have to take Splink out for a little sun break. Luckily, there's plenty of bombs between the tutorial and final boss. Oh my god, are we leaving? Yeah. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> the sun. It's a nice place, you know? <laughs> It'd be cool to play uh, <laughs> more of the game. Is that a staff? Oh. <laughs> Shit. This looks like a great place for some bomb flowers. Eh? If I was a bomb flower, I would be here for sure. Oh my god, a bomb flower. <gasps> yeah. How <laughs> many do I have now? 10? Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit longer and then I'll be good. You know what? There's some keys, electric keys here that I think I want to grab. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want these guys. Ow, guys. Guys, you're hurting me. Yeah! Ooh, that's hot. Interesting, doesn't it? What? <laughs> ah, shit. I want those because they're, they're, they're head guys are strong. What? This is even stronger. Okay, there's like a there's like a mini armory down here. So now we're sitting. This is the loadout currently. I had to go through those two spears. Right. I wanted to check shield. That seems like a good shield. And then bow. We also upgraded in the bow department. Yeah, 38. But most importantly, we got those attachments for the swords. 
Nah, you're a pleb. Sorry, buddy. Uh-oh. I, I take it back. You're actually really... <laughs> it's because I insulted him. <laughs> and we're back with bomb arrows. Yeah, back in my comfort zone. <laughs> so I want this because I'm going to put... Oh. Yeah! <laughs> So it shoots single balls. Dude, this thing is just so much better. I can't wait to one cycle the shark. I'm so excited to be honest. God. Wait, you know what? I kind of need to go down to one heart for my damage. I would always just get there with the gloom spear. You are so boned. <laughs> Wrong. Are you unhappy about the water? <laughs> well, let's get back and let's try more things, chat. Even with the bomb arrows, this was the first point I really felt defeated. There were no more tools for me to grab to make it easier. That 20 minute death was due to my own failure and the absurdity of the challenge. We go again. Yeah, so we're gonna go for the pillars. I don't know if it's possible to break them, but we're gonna find out. Because, I mean, if I can kill the pillars, then I can just kill everybody, and then we're just super fine and chilling and balling. And... Did you figure out the moth yet? Let's find out. So the plan is I'm gonna freeze the dudes, get the moth on the ground, take out the pillars. We want the moth on the ground just so that it doesn't shoot its beam. Why I made that symbol, but shoot its beam. <laughs> What the fuck does it take to stun this guy? Tch. Holy dicks. What the fuck is that? Why am I in a, a boxing arena? What do I do? <laughs> you got this trust. That's awesome. Let me experiment. Okay. And then we go up. He's swinging! Okay, we made it to him. <laughs> Boss fight number five is in a boxing ring. And I came all this way just to get instantly bopped and learn nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I stunned him. It was a good stun, but then I tried to stun him immediately again, and, like, that's not how the game works. You can't do it like that. So he was immediately unstunned. If possible, I think it'd be pretty cool to keep some bomb arrows for that boss as well. In fact, dare I say, bomb arrows will probably come in handy with literally every boss. Oh, shit. Where did you even come from? <laughs> ah. For a boss fight where you're supposed to climb up its insides, it's got a lot of parts of it preventing you from climbing up its insides. Don't AO me, chat. You're all watching. <laughs> you all know what's happening. Frame one, <laughs> bombing a mushroom. Okay, that's twice. Now this guy. I don't really know what's going on with this guy. Yeah, I think some observing might be in order. Let's bomb arrow. Okay. And then he's stunned for a few seconds. That was pretty long. Okay, he's stunned. Now let's go up. Oh, yeah, okay. Can I use something else to stun him? Okay, he's stunned. Uh... He seems really slow. Alright, alright, alright! We did some damage. <laughs> so you have to knock him into the fan into the fence. What's about to happen? <laughs> I suppose I can shield this. Ah, oh, it's a rocket! <laughs> oh yeah, just adds up Smith. By the way, Smith he shoots rockets. Just in case you're curious, Smith, he shoots fucking rockets. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, chat. In six and a half hours, we've only made it one boss further. That's crazy. Yeah, I think. I think sleeping on it might be a good idea. My stream until I one day only lasted just under seven hours. My mental was ruined. I said I had beaten one new boss during the stream, copium. But the reality was I had only beaten half a boss, the second half of the moth. And all it really meant was that each successful attempt would take longer. I was exhausted and had a choice to make that night because the reality was nobody was forcing me to do this. Nobody asked me to do this. I could go do literally anything else and nobody would really care after a while because this had gone far beyond the scope of the funny little beat the game early idea I had. I thought about the boxing guy that had kicked my ass twice and realized, fuck it. I can totally beat this guy. He had gotten stunned super easily and probably would have gotten stunned out of his rocket attack if I'd been a bit quicker with the next hit. 150 splinks haven't died for nothing. I'm getting weirdly good at this niche part of the video game. Today is all about mental. Us versus the bullshit. I was ready to go. I knew there was a chance I beat it all that day, but I didn't really care because I was going to no matter what. I had done some offline mining and snagged a few more bomb arrows because I'd need them for the plan I had for the robot. I have 12 more bomb arrows and I also killed an extra Lizalfos, which just means I have an extra good spear. And you know, again, as I do, I was up last night thinking, so I don't want to spoil how to beat the bosses for myself, but I think, and that's part of the reason I got more bombs, I want to just interrupt every single attack that the boxing guy does. If I just stop him from, because he gets stunned really easily, right? Outbox the boxer? Well, out bomb arrow the boxer <laughs> more so, I would say. Yeah, man. Fucking kitchen sink. <laughs> 
save everything. On to the boxing arena with 15 bombs. Called not letting the other guy play the game, chat. Freezes wave. <laughs> Shit. Seems so much easier. I thought long and hard. <laughs> but what the fuck I should do against this guy? And I realized that since he gets stunned easily, you just don't let him play the video game. Sweet God, don't let him play the video game. You know, ironically, chat, the squeaky hammer would probably whoop ass here. <laughs> oh, um, is it gonna stun me? Is the electric keys gonna stun me? Okay, well, lesson learned. Lesson learned, chat. We made it to phase two. Phase two, 44 minutes in? I couldn't care less that I had just died on a massive attempt. I had just gotten through half a boss in 45 minutes streaming, equivalent to the six hours that the last half boss had taken. It was gonna be a good day. A couple of years ago, I called out somebody for view botting because they had like 800 viewers and like a thousand followers and nobody was chatting. That's just, I mean, that's viewbotting. They tried to explain to me that they got permission to viewbot. It was a wild conversation. Eventually I just gave up because I didn't even know who they were. I think I saw them at the top of the little nightmares category one day and I was like, who the hell is this? Uh, but yeah, I checked up like a month later and they were back down to the numbers that you would normally have, like 5, 10. A lot of you wouldn't know this, especially if you don't watch small streamers much. If you stream with like zero to 50 viewers, you'll get bots that show up in your stream and ask you to like buy followers and stuff. It's just super normal. It happens all the time. But anyway, you follow these websites. You can buy... I don't remember it that well, but it wasn't that expensive. You could hold a couple hundred viewers. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Dude, I'm getting so distracted. For like 10 bucks, you could get a couple hundred viewers for an hour. I don't know how it works. And like, there's no way those would last and your account would probably get banned too. And then to my knowledge, I'm not 100% on this, but the reason that like, I, for example, have been follow botted before, where you get like 500 followers out of nowhere. It's because when people buy followers, they can't just send it to one account, otherwise it's incredibly obvious. Ooh, not what I wanted to do. Who bought the followers? So they send them to a whole bunch of random people to spread the guilt. So to my knowledge, sometimes if you get follow botted, it's because somebody out there bought followers. Get your beep boobs out of here. I developed the most advanced Twitch bot AI. Why so silent? Je sweat, okay? Je sweat. Je sweat beaucoup. I don't even know what else to shoot at you guy. Have some Zonai charges. Let's go. Link. Holy crap, he just died! Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's not her. Okay, this might be a checkpoint. It might not be. 
We don't give a fuck. We are just, we're just killing anything that shows up. I've already killed this. I've already, I've already, I've already killed this guy. There's more. Okay. Okay, noted. They don't seem to be... What the fuck? What did I just join it on? Oh, nutsacks. Humongo. <laughs> Except they don't, they give a f zero fucks about stat effects. What else do I got? <laughs> They don't freeze. We're gonna confirm that right now, though. <laughs> Damn. Okay, now is that a checkpoint? Probably not. I think you're gonna go into the tree or whatever. It looks like you're gonna go in. <sighs> okay. The Phantom Ganon Wave. Waves had to be the last boss. I was finally there. I had no idea at this point if there was a checkpoint past that point, but man, progress felt so good. That is until it took me another two hours to get there. But I guess also if you don't know it, oh, thanks, man. Oh, shit, though. Oh, I got it. Uh... <laughs> I do have to reset that. Bruh. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> ah, what an awful way to go. No way it has that big of an AoE. That's so big. Oh my god, he just kicked me. Oh! <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. It is absolutely imperative that all this fucker's plans are interrupted. It, it wasn't going on. Ah! He sliced down! No! Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. I was pressing to go on the... Oh, it just stays there. Okay. We can have this prepped. I was press. I didn't... I've never fused <laughs> into a shield. At least not in the past 20 hours. All I had learned was that I forgot the button to fuse something to my shield. And that the Ganons were really good at landing <laughs> single hits on you. He didn't get stunned. Oh, God, dude. <sighs> I know what happened. I did it too quickly. He didn't get unstunned from the last attack. Not stunnable yet. You're right. Damn, dude. On the last cycle, too? I know. Three hours after first getting to him, and I didn't even get my shot at Ganon this time. The not knowing how to deal with bosses as they came up was really biting me in the ass seven bosses in. Another half hour later though, and I had another chance. It had taken me three and a half hours to test if bomb boost shielding would work, and turns out it barely goes high enough to avoid the AoE from the bomb arrows. Not to mention, with Tears of the Kingdom's new bullet time system, I'd only have the stamina for like two shots anyway. That was the problem. I'm sure I could come up with some way to beat these assholes, but with an average of 10 seconds in the ring with them per hour and a half, 
There was no way I could test strats efficiently at all. But what else could I do? Hey, Zelda. Let's last more than 15 seconds. Holy fuck, bro! gonna destroy this fucking controller, dude. You know, that's a good question. What did blow up? I died to an explosion. Almost the next attempt, I made it back. Only 40 minutes. I was gonna try my luck at flurry rushing all of them one at a time. What do you think my 40 minute attempt earned me? The most bullshit Phantom Ganon death you could possibly think of. <laughs> do we know what happened? Is it that rocket on the ground? It's the rocket on the ground! Wow! They do only come one at a time. If we hit every single flurry rush, then maybe we could just go five flurry rushes. Bam, 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 bam. Another hour of work for 10 seconds of practice. And even if I beat all five, there was still presumably another wave of some other bullshit that would follow. I could do it, but I needed practice. Practice that I really wasn't getting any of, even when I got there. We fiddled around with some ways to allow me to take some hits without upgrading stats so I could at least practice the fight. But turns out anti-gloom potions do not work how I expected them to, so that was hopeless. Seven and a half hours of streaming later, I had beaten one new boss but now faced a wall even bigger than the phase two moth. And there were no more bomb arrow secret items that I could grab that would save me. Except there was. We'd beaten the boxing guy by not letting him play. So I was thinking of ways I could do that to the Phantom Ganons. Problem is, even with bomb arrows, I wouldn't dish out enough damage by the time they started charging me and I wouldn't have time to shoot anymore. That is, unless I could shoot more bomb arrows at once. Three at once. A triple shot bow surely would pack enough punch with bomb arrows to stagger them or outright kill them all before they could charge me. And there was a Lionel on the way to the boss fight who dropped a triple shot bow. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. The solution was staring us in the face. So that night I grabbed a couple more weapons from the castle and saved right in front of the Lionel. I'd start stream the next day by killing it and hopefully that would be enough to secure the no hit win. Day six, I wanted to be the last day. That's the plan. It costs like five weapons to get one bow. I don't think it's gonna be five weapons. Shit. The nice thing about taking damage is we can switch to our desperate strength weapon and do like twice the damage. Yeah, that totally counted, sure. <laughs> there, he's dead. And what do we get, chats? A triple shot bow. Also this, nice. 40 fuse power? <laughs> we should have done this so long ago. <laughs> this Lionel's like here for a reason. Like it's here so that you can kill it for the waves. I just, I just never, it just never occurred to me. I kind of wish Hot Ganon showed up at the start of this. I feel like he's an afterthought. Seeing how for me, at least, there's like seven bosses before him. More or less hot than Roxy? I have never, ever, ever said that Roxy was hot. I find Roxy quite not good looking, actually. And I've mentioned that on numerous occasions. Oh, should I even put these on? They do so much damage. Like the pieces of the Lionel horn? I mean, fuck it, let's just put one on the Knight's Broadsword. <laughs> Holy shit, chat. Oh, so close to a one cycle. So, test number one with the triple shot. Just rain hell upon them. Bringer of death. What the fuck was that? Just 
I didn't put away the bow. I didn't, didn't put away the bow, so I didn't bring out the shield. God damn. Another one. Five more? Seven more? Five more. But this one inks. Okay. That changes nothing. <laughs> I basically just did two bosses rush boss rushes in a row without dying without getting hit <laughs> carpet bombing was glorious well I saw some of them start to charge me and I was like nope focus that one <laughs> I know I'm not done I know I still have to fight Ganon but if it's got a checkpoint I don't give a fuck one fight that I can restart over and over is so easy if there's no checkpoint I don't know I guess you know we can we carry on. I guess we carry on. <laughs> now I just had to hope that Ganon had a checkpoint. Or I'd have to learn him the same way as everybody else. Uh, <laughs> Let's just find out. Let's just <laughs> How disappointing. Yeah, I killed ten of you already, asshole. Actually eleven. I'll carpet bomb your ass too. Isn't this supposed to be hot, Ganon? Bro, I just beat seven bosses straight. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? The ratio may be 180 to one, but I only need one. Oh my God, he's hot. It's here, chat. Hot Ganon is among us. Regardless, I will reshape this world. Oh yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. Crush any opposition. I will rule. That is what a king. So true, Ganon. Do not look away. This was in the trailer. You witness a king's revival. Nice. I know that line. All right, big guy. And now I instantly die. <laughs> yeah, Naked Link. Let's do it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd swing just a tiny bit sooner. <laughs> well, chat, we had to figure this out one way or another. Yes! yes! It's over. It's over. Oh, I never have to do that first Bokoblin wave. The Ganon fight was fairly straightforward. Phase one is just dodge his heavily telegraphed attacks. He switches between a sword, spear, bow, and hammer. Oh, that seems like a back the fuck up. Oh, there's air going up. I have to paraglide during that. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Incenso. We got to start the fights by leaning against this wall. I'm actually going to do double damage with this sword now. So, phase one done. What now, hot man? Oh, what a feeling. Yeah, I'm going to get a goo. 
had almost forgotten the thrill of battle. Phase one easy? Yeah. For a second I thought he was gonna become like Kawaii. Oh! <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, 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 slow down there! Okay, damn, okay. Mama Mia is right. And there's more Ganons. And I'm in the goo. Son of a bitch. And I'm dead. We can just go... Oh, man. We can just go right back into the fight. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that feels good. Take this. I actually did press it that time. It was too late. <laughs> Take this. And then he took it. So I had some time to think about this. Fuck the clones. Let's just stay away from them. What should we hit him with? We gotta disrespect Ganon somehow. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> Let's hit him with guts. Yeah. Yeah, get gutted on, idiot. Butterfly, go. I love how, like, they give you a ton of gloom weapons before this with all the shadow ganons, right? And they're like, yeah, player, use it if you dare. It'll bring you down to one heart. And I'm like, yeah, one heart. Oh, oh, okay. Um, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it should count, but I'm just gonna keep going because I'm probably not gonna win anyway. But I want the practice. This attack isn't fun, Ganon. This attack does not bring me joy. Do I want to know why this is casting couch Ganon? I love how these Ganons do fucking nothing. <laughs> They're just in the goddamn way. <laughs> what if he turns into a giant pig? That's never happening. Zelda's never done that before. He turns into a giant pig in Twilight Princess chat. It's actually a sweet face. Skyward Sword? Final battle. God, I don't even remember it. That's how mid it was. I think it's like this dude with toes. Funky toes. I need to lock. Whoop! <laughs> that was tight. Oh! Oh, shit! There's a second face! The second face! Oh, he's just gonna suck up his clones and get even hotter! <laughs> yeah! Wow. I still think this is phase one. <laughs> oh, yes, please. I think I will get it. Especially if you have the same moveset, idiot. <laughs> you do, fucking moron. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! Okay. I see. I see how it is. As long as he parries with the same attack... Things changed. We'll know it's Ganon's final phase when he turns into some sort of big ass beast. <laughs> Kinda third phase Ganon has no clones, but a new hard to avoid move that comes with each time he switches weapons. He also flurry rushes your flurry rush. That's gonna be a side swipe. Yeah, okay. No! <laughs> okay, for this one, wait till they get closer. Oh my god, it still hit me. This is a tough phase to no hit. Also, look, Chad, I have actually one heart. And then he's gonna rough parry this, right? Yeah. He's gonna be a sideways swipe? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right. Remove me. Why have you lost? Because I took a hit. Oh, not this attack. Go, Ganon. No! <laughs> Damn, bro! Did you just not? Just kill him? No. I refuse. This is no hit. This isn't one hit. It is no hit. So, I'll try just canceling his shit, I guess. If he brings out the bullshit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, and then he just never did it. God damn! Nice. <laughs> yeah, good to see. All right, what's next, big guy? Uh, oh my God, he is Thanosing himself. Eat it. Eat it, Gaddy, you won't. He's not gonna eat it. Damn, he's just gonna like squish it or something. Oh shit! <laughs> He ate it! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, baby! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's like calamity, whatever. Oh, rip me. Oh, I'm dead. Are we gonna go see the sun? Nice. Yeah, it's been a while, Splink. You've been down in that cave for a while. Must feel good. Draconified Demon King. He looks freaky. Hey, that's me. So, oh, exactly. Are we gonna like Colgate this guy? Who dat? <laughs> Was that somebody I would have seen earlier? Oh, shit. Wait, am I gonna fly the dragon? Dragon on Dragon Warfare? Oh, Is Zelda the dragon? <laughs> We're just gonna become friends. Lovers into the night. Oh, hey, the Master Sword. <laughs> That's convenient. <laughs> Zelda eats the dragon? What the fuck? How? So do you normally get the dragon, the Master Sword out of a dragon's head? The plot you skipped explains all the weirdness. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want spoilers because I want to play the game normally. But Zelda is like, Link. she's not a dragon. She's, she's right there. Just... The, its corruption was healed by its time with the light dragon. The blade gleams the sacred luster that <laughs> can oppose the demon king. All right, cool. I don't know how I'm gonna hit a dragon with a sword. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, I have to bite Ganon. Oh, I can literally see where I have to hit him. Actually, I take it back. He's got pimples, I gotta pop. Uh, what? Twice? Oh, what? Am I... Am I... Am I steering this dragon? No. <laughs> I am not... Okay. Um... Do I just... <laughs> Is this what I'm supposed to do? I can see a pimple down there. Okay, now is this pimple gonna hurt me? I sure fucking hope not. Ew. Okay. Whoa. So, do I land back on the dragon? No shot, no shot. Oh my God, that's sick. That is fucking sick. Dude, I'm so far from a pimple. <laughs> Are you just gonna wait for me, Ganon? I mean, I appreciate that. Oh, he's looking at me. I'm on my way to... <laughs> Fuck a pimple. Wait, 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 wait a s... It's got like stuff around it. Wait. I don't trust it. I don't know. I'm trying to do this no hit. <laughs> drink it. Drink it, please. <laughs> drink it, please. Kiss me. <laughs> drink it. <laughs> it took you a little bit longer than I was comfortable, to be honest. <laughs> I love how Ganon waits so patiently. <laughs> like, if he was moving at all, this would be impossible. Dude, that's so cool. What a cool mechanic. I choose you, Pimple. Just kidding. Ganon's still moving. Oh god, this is gonna take me a hot second. Where's the last one? Oh my god, it's on his face. <laughs> we have to. Nice. How am I gonna hit that though? He's shooting morbs out of his face hole. Alright, Link. Let's go. Uh, let me off. Um. <laughs> K. 
Okay, now if you could just no 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 and <laughs> wait <laughs> wait <laughs> hold on a second bro i thought he would like fall into an animation because you kind of fall into the animation with this dragon i really thought i really thought the game would just give it to me this time i won't miss hey ganon uh, we've been here before Okay. Yeah. No hit, Chad. Is that it? This seems pretty conclusive. We might not be it, but we'll see. We did get his strange teardrop Triforce thing. Finish it. Okay, here's the cinematic I was looking for, though. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Splink 212. Sweet catch. I would definitely be dead from the impact of that. Dude, I want to fuse those horns to my... Knights... Swords. Those things would slap. So long, gay Bowser. Oh my god. That's what Pepsi wants to do to that first wave of Bokoblins. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is like when games have bad collision. It's kind of like uh, walking on the ship in... Uh, Subnautica. Hi, characters that I don't know. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, she's crying, I think. That or she has very funky lashes. Undragonify Zelda or whatever. I assume that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, those were the tears of the kingdom. How do they get down now? Oh, I'm sure. I mean, Link's got a paraglider. You can carry her. The other two are ghosts. They're chilling. Oh. Oh, I kind of like that arm. That also makes me think that it won't save that I killed Ganon, because I need the arm to play the game. <laughs> Link, Link, you gotta, you gotta land, Link. <laughs> Link, the paraglider. I'm glad they kept my character in the cutscene. Naked Link saves the day, chat. Oh, I gotta... I mean, can I go past her? <laughs> yeah, we're just <laughs> We're just stuck. It's not letting me go any lower <laughs> They knew oh you sneaky guys <gasps> Goalie go escape Nice they knew man. There is no not saving her Let's go Water or paraglider I mean <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And they both died, because holy shit, that would hit like a truck. <laughs> Add that to the splink counter in my right chat. Damn. Link, how are you? Naked. That was... Feed? We reached you, after all. Yo. Huh? Dems be some fee sound effects. Yeah, really <laughs> Lynx looks so feral. Uh, fee is like how am I... a helper that lives in the master sword and the scarlet sword. You were down in the caves for so long. I had been sleeping all this time when I felt something like a warm, loving embrace. I woke up. I guess the castle stays like that, yeah. I mean, it'd be a bit catastrophic if it just fell. I have so much to tell you. So much happened.
Hopkins. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, Link. I'm home. Nice. Fuck yeah, Chad. We got her. Never once regretted his decision. Oh, I regretted my decision. I just had to stay committed to it. So when I finished this, I was finally able to take a look at speedruns to see how they handled all the boss waves. This whole experience was super unique to me, because whenever I've taken on challenges like this, I've always utilized the community of like-minded players to bounce ideas off of. There is such a vast difference between how much one dude playing learns as opposed to runners using the best community strategies. It gives me a new amount of gratefulness to speedrun communities for just how much quicker you can get good as a group. This is a really fun challenge to take on just me versus the boss rush, but in the future anything I do with this game will take advantage of the great collective knowledge that's always being gathered. Side note, gems are so OP. I'm very sad I had none except two opals, lol.